Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spudknocker, as always. And today we have a little bit of a problem. We're flying an Israeli F-16C Fighting Falcon, and we've been tasked with destroying a weapons shipment that's being delivered to Damascus International Airport to then be transported to, say, Hamas in Gaza or Hezbollah in Lebanon. Of course, being part of the Israeli Air Force for this flight today, we cannot allow that transfer of weapons to occur. Now the problem is this cloud cover has not been allowing our spy satellites to generate coordinates for a JDAM strike and we're not going to be able to see the target through our targeting pod due to the low cloud bases that would bring us right inside the L envelope for all of that AAA down around Damascus. So our solution for this problem today is going to be to use our air to ground radar to see right through those clouds, generate coordinates for our JDAMs, and then drop those JDAMs right through the clouds, hopefully on top of those IL-76s. Now this probably isn't going to be the most accurate JDAM strike in the world, but it should be good enough with our 2,000 pound bombs to hopefully light off some secondary explosions from that armed shipment down there. So without further ado, let's hop in the cockpit and get started. Alrighty, here we are in the cockpit, and we can see we're 35 miles out from waypoint 1, which is going to be our IP point. And to get our radar into air-to-ground mode, first thing we'll do is let's turn on some lights here to make it a little bit easier for you guys at home to see as we pass through some shadows here. But first thing we're going to do is go to the air-to-ground mode of our F-16. We're going to ensure that our GBU-31s are powered on for both the weapon on our right wing as well as our left wing. Then we're going to bring our right MFD over to our HSD page, as well as we're going to start working with our radar. Now we're going to be flying towards our IP point because that's going to give us a nice offset to the left of our target area to allow our air to ground radar to do its thing as we zoom it in farther and farther to get a more clearer and clearer picture of the target area that we're going to be striking. So we'll push up our rocker switch to steer point one, and we'll turn off our steering select so that way we can still get a good offset to the left of our target. And we can now see that we have Damascus and all of its suburbs showing up on our air to ground radar in all of this white. It's going to be very difficult to be able to see what we need to see down and around Damascus International where our crosshair on our left MFD is currently pointing. So let's go ahead and start to zoom in to the different expand modes of our radar. And we can see we're starting to get a better and better picture of Damascus International Airport. Now, unfortunately, we have to get pretty darn close to our target area in order to get a very good picture on our air to ground radar and be able to then drop a JDAM somewhere in the vicinity of our target. So we'll go ahead and allow our aircraft to get closer and closer. And let's squeeze down the azimuth to get faster updates on our current area that we want to be searching for. So we'll start keep coming this direction and we'll keep closing with it to allow our radar to get a better and better picture of that area as we get closer and closer. Now thankfully the seed operations by the Israeli Air Force are really darn fantastic and most of them don't even have anything to do with kinetic action against the actual SAM launchers and SAM radars themselves but are rather in cyberspace with um, hackers as well as viruses being injected into those radars and the IAD system as a whole in Syria and preventing those SAM systems that we can see up on our HSD here from even being able to attack us to begin with. However, of course, that uh, shielding of jamming cyber warfare and other things is not always infallible, and we may have to dodge a SAM or two, but hopefully it'll keep going for us and allow us to uh, continue with this strike mission for this demonstration of the air-to-ground radar. So looking good, we can definitely make out 
Damascus International Airport with its four runways that are roughly laid out in kind of a dog leg shape. So with that in mind, let's start zooming in on our point of interest. So that is going to be the southern ramp of Damascus International. We'll make sure we make this our soy by going sensor control switch down. And we can start to see a lot of white down here on the ramp. So I'm thinking that is going to be the area with our various aircraft we want to attack. Those IL-76s should show up pretty darn well on our radar. You can see we're currently 40 degrees offset to the left of our target area, so let's bring that back down to about 20 degrees offset. And currently 19 nautical miles out from our target area, and we can see everything is getting clearer and clearer down here. And at this point, I think this is going to be the clearest we're going to get it. So let's go ahead and freeze our display again. And we'll try to get the best possible solution on one of those IL-76s that we can. And then we'll go target management switch forward to set a target. And we'll continue flying into the target area for our weapons release. start to roll out a little bit before we get onto the fall line and we will release the bomb as soon as we get a little bit further inside of our accept acceptable launch range and we will go ahead and drop the weapon because that is a 2,000 pound bomb coming off of an F-16 we gotta get right on the trim to ensure that our jet doesn't do anything wild and crazy and at this point, we can go ahead and watch that weapon as it falls through the clouds. Hopefully we get somewhere near one of those IL-76s down there, but we shall see. Let's just speed it up just a hair for you guys. Ooh, this might be pretty accurate. Kaboom. That is a lot less weapons headed to Hamas and Hezbollah for today. So I hope this kind of gave you guys a little bit of an illustration as to when, why, and where you would want to use the air-to-ground radar in the F-16, as well as the F-A-18, if you're an F-A-18 pilot watching this video, um, to kind of peer through these clouds and get through anything where you're just not going to be able to get those coordinates from you know other types of information gathering systems or intelligence gathering systems or your targeting pod or anything like that, where you just need to get some radar waves right through those clouds, get some coordinates for your JDAMs and drop them right through the muck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful game that DCS World is and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one.